Hey guys, it's Star Wars Probs here, and this is episode 15 of my Universal Minecraft editor. Today we are doing loot kits. Now, loot kits are very popular and everyone keeps asking me to make this, so it's not that difficult guys, but I'm going to do it anyway. So this is a loot kit, so you would buy that from a villager, and then you break it, and you get all your loot, yeah? So this is my little ghost kit. Pretty random. <laughs> But anyway, that's that. I just thought I'd show you if you don't know what they are. But I've been getting a, quite a few requests for this, so I thought I'd make this. Now, I've set up a couple villages here, and we're I'm going to show you how to make this, okay? So this is the first one. So this is like an epic kit, if you know what I mean. I'm just showing that you can get, you know, max enchantments and stuff. You can rename items. You can enchant items. You can add modded items. You can add... Multiple items, you can add all sorts of stuff, okay guys? And now this one is just like a sapling kit, okay? So I'm just showing that you can actually arrange everything around and it comes out like that. You know, you could buy that from your villager or whatever if you're playing like a sky block or something. It's pretty straightforward. And now this one was just a little idea I had, but unfortunately I just want to show you it does not work. So I tried to put like a shulker box inside a shulker box and a shulker box inside a shulker box until eventually, like a Russian doll, you know, those dolls that you rip in half. <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to make that and then at the very end you got yourself a prize which would be a diamond for instance. But look, you got in here, you got your shulker box and I was going to put that one down and then there was supposed to be another shulker box and then so on, so on, so on. But guys, that doesn't work, unfortunately. So that sucks, doesn't it? Um, but anyway, let's get on with this. Let me just remove all these items a minute. There we go. Now over here, I got this villager, which I've just named Example Villager. <laughs> Lovely name. Uh, and I got this uh, shulker box in here. Now this is the easiest way to do it, guys, okay? So what we need to do is make this villager sell a chest. And then he has the items already inside the chest, yeah? So you, like I say, you would use this for your servers or whatever you want to use. But what I do is fill up a shulker box, okay? With your items you want. So I've got some green armor, carrots and apples and stuff. And then if you just break that. Oh, uh, well, I'll just chuck that one over there because now I've duplicated it. But if, if I just keep that in my hotbar, you understand what I mean when I get on the PC. Because... When you have items inside chests or hoppers or whatever, anything that can store items, it has a tag on it called block entity data. And yeah, that's all the data of all the items inside. Now it's easier because you can make your chests already with shulker boxes, if you know what I mean. Or you could do it with chests as well, but just a shulker box is easier because you can pick it up, if that makes sense. But anyway, let's get on a PC and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so we catch you on the PC. Okay guys, so we've loaded up Universal Minecraft Editor and I just want to go to Loot Kits because that's my save. I'm going to go to my player a minute and find that shulker box. Now I'm just going to copy the whole inventory because it's just easier. And now I want to go to Chunk. Find my example villager which I've renamed here. And I'm just going to paste that in there to make my life easier. Now he does already have an inventory, but I know my one's the one with one. So, so what we have here, we need to edit his trade, okay? Um, so I want to change this item just to an emerald. Let me just change it to one, like so. We just sell. We need to sell a chest. Okay, like so, one of them, I'm just going to set this to 9999, whatever, don't really matter about this because this isn't a tutorial for that is it, this is for the actual um, kit or whatever. So this is my shulker box that was in my inventory, okay, and it obviously had all these items in, yeah, you've seen, and they the armour was actually green but it doesn't show what colour it is, but if you go into here it does on display. So that's all that, all I want to do is delete that, delete that and delete that because you don't really need that, it's just to, you know, 
combine it with your player who made it, if you know what I mean, the UUID. But anyway, this is the important tag, okay? So this is block entity tag, like I said on the start. So if we just go on here where it says tag and just copy that, and then you go into your villager again, okay? Go on sell, which is the chest, and paste. How easy is that, guys? That's it. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why a lot of people are asking me how to do it, but that is it, guys. Now, obviously, you can rename this chest. You can enchant it. We can just pull, call it loot kit. Very easy. I mean, that is it, guys. Now, I'll go back on the Xbox and show you uh, it in action. Okay, guys, so we're going to load up loot kits, and I will show you how easy that was. <laughs> I know, but it actually works, okay? So this is our example villager. Loot kit, one emerald. Right. So we grab our emerald, buy it, and voila! <laughs> How easy was that, guys? Really easy, yeah? So that is it, pretty much. That's the end of episode 15. I mean, like I say, you can customize these kits to whatever you want. Um, you could have modded items. Can you hear slimes? Um, and everything, yeah? So, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm Darren Sprouts. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope you love this video. Woohoo! <laughs> See you later. Bye!